For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Υπέρ της ειρηνίας του σύμπαντος κόσμου, ευστοθυνιάς των Αγίων των Θεού Εκκλησίων και της των πάντων ενός έως του Κυρίου Δαϊθόμεν. For this holy temple, for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Υπέρ του Αρχιεπισκόπη και Πατρός Σιμονιακού όπου του Τιμίου Περιστηρίου της Εγκριστώ Διακονίας, πάντως του κλείνου και του λαού του Κινίου Δαϊθόμεν. For the President of the United States, for those in civil authority, for the armed forces, for all the American nation, let us pray to the Lord. I bid his heroes, Metropolios, Kinuria, Staff, Dinske, Passis, Polios, Moniske, Horas, Keton Pistikundan, and Artes to Kiriu, the Ithomen. For seasonable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Ipel beundon adi porundon ed porundon no sundon kam non don ek maloton, ke di sodinia safton tu kini uday thomen. For those who live at sea, for those who travel by land or air, for the sick and the suffering, for the captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Υπέρ του Ρίστινα εμάς ο Παπάς της Τρίψεως οργής κινδύνου και ανάγκης του Κυρίου Δαϊθόμεν. Αντιλαβούς όσον ελέησον και διαφυλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χωρίτη. Σχον Αγία Σαχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσμίσιμον Θεοτόκου και αή Πάρθενο Μαρίας 
Με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσουν τε σε αυτούς και αλληλούς και πάσαν την ζωή νημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθωμεθώ. Ότι πρέπει σι πάσα δόξα τιμή και προσκυνησής το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύμα την Ιν και Άι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. O Lord our God, whose dominion is inconceivable, whose glory is incomprehensible, whose mercy is infinite, whose love toward mankind is inevitable, do Thou Thyself, O Master, in Thy tender compassion, look down upon us and upon this holy temple. Grant us and those who pray with us Thine abundant mercies and compassions. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorate in our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, the Mother of God, and of Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For thine is the dominion, thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Protect the whole body of thy church, sanctify the love of their beauty, and of thy temple do not dwell them with divine power. Forsake us not, who has set our hope in thee. <coughs> thou hast given us grace at this time of one accord to make our common supplications unto thee and to promise that material here gathered together in your name. You will grant their petitions fulfilled, O Lord, the petitions of your servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in the world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come life everlasting. Yes, 
they for me. Σωσον ελέησον και διαφυλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της συγχωρήτης. Της Παναγίας ακράντο υπερβλεημένης εν δόξα δεσπίσιμον Θεοτόκου και αη Πάρθερ Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων Μνήμων εύσαντε σε αυτούς και αλληλούς και πάσαν την ζωήν ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ μεθό. Καθώς και φιλάνθρωπος Θεός υπάρχεις και εσύ την δόξαν αναπέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύμα την Ιν και Άι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Αυτή η μέρα Κυρίου αγαλιασόμεθα και φρανθόμεν εν αυτή ούτε κατήλθες προς τον θάνατο η ζωή ας θάνατο τότε τον αδυνεν έκρωσας τη αστραπή της Θεότητων ποτέ δεν και τους τεθνεώτας εκ των καταχθονίων ανέστησας πάσε δυνάμεις των επουρανίων εκράβγαζον Ζώδωτα Χριστέ, ο Θεός ημών δόξασή. Σοφία ορθή, δεύτε πως κινήσομεν, και προσπέσομεν Χριστό σώσον ημάς η Θεού ο Αναστάς εκ νεκρό Ως 
τον εχμαλών τον ελεύθερο της και τον τόχων υπεράστης της ασθενούν τον ιατρόν βασιλέον υπέρμαχων τροπέο φορέ μεγάλο μάρτη γεωργίε Πρέσβευε Χριστό το Θεό σ' ό,τι είναι τα Βολισσόσου τα σπάργανα και εκτίτε και κατά βάσης κρονούς των δακρύων σου την κόνην σου η παλαιμονή σου τα οστέα σου αγιώνει μόνο όρος μονή χαλάνδρον την χείρα σου ως γενομένη την σύ υποδείξη ματρώνα χείουσε νόμα. Νόξαν το σε δοξάσαν τη Χριστό, δόξα το σε θαυμαστώσαν τη, δόξα το ενεργούν τη διά σου, ή μην τα παράδοξα. Τι πανέφη μονή φύ Χριστού υμνήσομαι και κατερίναν την θεία και πολύ ούχον σύνα την βοήθειαν ημών και αντίληψη ότι εφήμος ελάνδρος τους κόψους των ασέμων του πνεύματος κι δυνάμει και γίνος μάρτης τεθύσα και τη τεφάση το μέγα έλεγε Μνήστη την Κύριε ως αγαθός τον δούλον σου και ως αελβίο ειναρτών συγχωρήσον δις γαράν αμάρτητος η μισή οδυναμε και της μεταστάσει δούνε την αναπαύση. Εμείς οι τίποτενοι ανεπίλωσας, έτσι κοιμήσει κι ο κόσμος που κάτσε λύπες θεό τζόκε. to the Lord.
Lord God, and holy, and to thee we ascribe glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Holy voice, worship by all the hosts of heaven, thou hast put all things out of nothingness into being, thou hast created man in thine own image and likeness, and hast adorned him with all thy favors, thou hast given to the supplicant wisdom and prudence, did not neglect the sinner, but hast put forth the way of repentance unto salvation. Thou hast accounted us thy humble and unworthy servants, worthy to stand at this time before the glory of thy holy altar, and to bring to the adoration and praise, do thou, Master, accept thee from the mouth of us sinners. The thrice holy hymn, visit us in thy righteousness, forgive us of all transgressions, voluntary and involuntary. Sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship thee in holiness all the days of our life. Through the intercessions of the holy Theotokos and of all the saints, who from the beginning of time, having pleased thee, having given God and the holy and to thee, which glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Επιστολής Παύλου το ανάγνωσμα Πρόσκομαι Αδελφοί ο Θεός και Πατήρ του Κυρίου ημών Ιησού Χριστού είδεν ο όν ευλογητός εις τους αιώνας ότι ου ψεύδομαι εν δαμασκό ο Εθνάρχης αρέτα του Βασιλέως Εφρούρι την, δαμα, την δαμασκινών πόλην, πιάσε με θέλον και διαθρίδος σε σαργάνι εχαλάστην δια του τείχους και εξέφυγον τα σχήρας αυτού, καυχάσε διού συμφέριμοι 
ελεύσω μεγάρ εις επτασίας και αποκαλύψεις Κυρίου είδα άνθρωπον εν Χριστό προετών δεκατεσσάρων, είτε εν σώματι ούκ είδα, είτε εκτός του σώματος ούκ είδα, ο Θεός είδεν, αρπαγέντα των τιούτων έως τρίτου ουρανού και είδα των τιούτων άνθρωπων είτε εν σώματι, είτε εκτός του σώματος, ούκ είδα, ο Θεός είδεν. Ότι ηρπάγει, ηρπάγει εις τον παράδεισον και οίκουσεν άρρητα ρήματα, α, ουκ άξον ανθρώπο λαλίσε, υπέρ το τιού του καυχίσομαι, υπέρ δε εμ' αυτού ου καυχίσομαι, Ημί εν τες ασθενείες μου, εάν γάρ θελήσω καυχισάστε, ουκ έσω με άφρον αλήθιαν γάρ ερώ. Φίδω με δε, μη της εις εμέ λογιστέ υπέρ ο βλέπει με, ή ακούει την εξ εμού και την υπερβολή των αποκαλύψεων, ή να μη υπερο υπερορώ με. Εδόθη με σκόλοψ τη σαρκή, άγγελος σατάν, ή να με κολαφίζει, ή να μη υπερέρωμε υπέρ τούτου, πριν τον Κύριον παρεκάλεσα, ή να αποστεί απ' μου και ήρικέ μη. Η χάρις μου, η γάρ δυναμίες μου, εν ασθενία τελειούτε, η δίστα ουμάλων καυχισόμε. Let us attend. The Lord is my strength and my song. The Lord has chastened me sorely. The reading is from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Wisdom, let us attend. Brethren, the God and Father of the Lord Jesus, he who is blessed forever knows that I do not lie. At Damascus, the governor under King Aretas guarded the city of Damascus in order to seize me, but I was let down in a basket through a window in the wall and escaped his hands. I must boast, there is nothing to be gained by it, but I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. And I know that this man was caught up into paradise, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. And he heard things that cannot be told, which man may not utter. On behalf of this man, I will boast. But, I own, but on my own behalf, I will not boast, except of my weaknesses. Though if I wish to boast, I shall not be a fool, for I shall be speaking the truth. But I, uh, but I refrain from it, so that no one may think more of me than he sees in me or hears from me. And to keep me from being too elated by the abundance of revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I besought the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I will all the more gladly boast of my weakness. that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Peace. 
peace be with you, the reader. Sofia Orthia Cusmendua Evangelium, Irini Passi. E tu che da Luca la Evangelio tu anagnosma, proscome. Υπεν ο Κύριος άνθρωπος της, ειν πλούσιος, και ενδυδίσκετο πορφύραν και βίσον εφρενόμενος καθημέραν λαμπρός. Το χώς δε της ειν ονόματι Λάζαρος, ως ευεύλητο προς τον πυλώνα αυτού, ηλκομένος και επιθυμών χορταστήνε από την ψυχίον των πτυπτώντων, από τις τραπέζεις του πλουσίου, αλλά και οι κίνες ερχόμενοι απέλυχον τα έλχη αυτού. Εγένε το δε αποθανήν των πτωχών και επεκτείνε αυτόν, είπε των αγγέλων εις τον κόλπον Αβραάμ, απέθανε δε και ο πλούσιος και ετάφη. Και εν το άδει επάρας τους οφθαλμούς αυτού, Υπάρχουν εν βυσάνιες ορά των Αβραάμ και μακρόθεν και Λάζαρον εν της κόλπης αυτού. Και αυτός φωνή σα είπε πάτερ Αβραάμ, ελεησόν με και πέμψον Λάζαρον είναι ευάψη των άκρων του δακτύλου αυτού, είδατος και καταψύξη την γλωσσά μου και οδεινό με εν τη φλογή ταύτη. Είπε δε Βραάμ, τεκνονίστητη ότι απέλευε εσύ τα αγαθά σου εν τη ζωή σου και Λάζαρος ομοίως τα κακά. Νην δε ο δε παρακαλείτε, σύ δε ο δυνάσε και επιπάσει τούτης μεταξύ ημών τον ημών χάσμα μέγα εστήριξε όπως οι θέλοντες διαβήνε ένθεν προς ημάς μη δίνονται, μη δε οι εκείθεν προς ημάς διαπερώσιν. Είπε δε ερωτώσι παν πάτερ, είναι πέμψης αυτών εις τον οίκον του πατρός μου, έχω και πέντε αδελφούς, όπως διαμετηρείτε αυτής, είναι μη και αυτή έρθουσιν εις των τόπων τούτων της βασάνου. Λέει αυτό Αβραάμ, έχουσι Μωυσέα και τους προφήτας, ακουσά τους αν αυτόν. Ήδε είπεν, ουχή πάτερ Αβραάμ, αλλά εάν της από νεχρόν πορευθεί, προς αυτούς μετανοήσουσιν. Είπε δε αυτό, η Μωσέος και των προφητών οικούσουσι. της εκ νεκρών αναστή της θύσονται. The reading is taken from the Gospel according to Saint Luke. Let us be attentive. The Lord said, There was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen, and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man la named Lazarus, full of sores who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. And moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. 
The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell, being in torment, the rich man lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off and now Lazarus in his bosom. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy upon me and send Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in anguish in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner the evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in anguish in hell. And besides all this, between us and you a great chasm has been fixed, in order that those who would pass from here to you may not be able, and none may cross from there to us. And the man said, Then I beg you, Father, to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they also come into this place of torment. But Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone was to go to them from the dead, surely they will repent. And he said to them, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced if someone should rise from the dead. Grant that being ever protected by thy power, to thee we may ascribe glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now endeavoring unto the ages of ages. No one who is bound with the desires and pleasures of the flesh is worthy to approach or draw near. To serve thee, O King of glory, for to serve thee is great and awesome, and even to the heavenly powers, yet through thine ineffable boundless love toward mankind. Thou didst unchangeably and immutably become man and serve as our high priest and Lord of all is committed to us the celebration of the surgical and bloodless sacrifice. For thou alone, our Lord our God, rule us over all things in heaven and earth, who art born under the throne of the cherubim, and our Lord of the seraphim, and King of Israel, who alone art holy, rest among thy saints. Wherefore implore thee, who alone art good and ready to listen, look down upon me, thy sinful and unprofitable servant, and cleanse my soul, my heart, from evil conscience. Enable me by the power of the Holy Spirit, rest of the race of the priesthood, to stand before this thy holy altar, and consecrate thy holy and immaculate body and precious blood. For to thee I come, having bowed my head and beseech thee, turn not thy face away from me, neither jack the form of thy children. But make me worthy, sinful, and worthy servant to offer these gifts unto thee. For thou art the offer, the offer, and the acceptance of Scripture to Christ our God. And to thee we ascribe glory together to the Father, the Holy Spirit, and Spirit, now endeavored unto the ages of ages. Amen.
Panduni mon, ke pandon ton evsevon ke ortodoxon kristianon, nisti kirios ateos, en di basilia aftu pandoten inke ai, ke istu seunas ton, e ono, gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. So faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Signomingi alfe sin dormati on get on plimeli matonimon, para tu kirio et that are good and profitable unto our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. may be Christian without pain, blameless and peaceful, and for good account at the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Christo to Theo para Thumetho. The Otenic in Mondo Maria Nusuio Methu Evlietos is in the Panagio Kegathokis of Piosu Pnebmat in Inkeai, Kains to Seo Nasto Nehono.
Tostidos, tostidos, en Sofía proscomen. Estemos en cena de hoy, patera padecrata, mi título en un teñiz, orato de pato y orato, y en cena de Dios y su Cristo. Ton yon de teyut un mone yeni, ton ect patros, en el tendo propando en ton eon un. Os ec potros, Υπότιτλοι <Σιναι> Υπότιτλοι και συνδοξεζόμενον το λαλή σαν διά του προφητών. Εις μίαν Αγίαν Καθολικήν και Αποστολικήν Εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εμπάπτυσμα εις άφησιν μαρτιών, προσδεκόν άστασι νεκρών, και ζωή του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. I believe in one God, in the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He had suffered and was buried and he arose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the fathers, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalo, stomen medafovo, proskomentina yen and afodan and irinyi prosferin. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. To the Piniki and Imna Nadunda, Bunda, Kekragwata, Kelagunda.
Lovete, faiete, tutum aesti do soma to e perimon colomenoni, selfes in amartion, take ye, this is my body, which for you is broken unto remission of sins. Likewise the cup after the supper, saying, Ed ex softo pandes, tuto esti doem momodo disgeniisti, athinkis to eperimon gebeloni fkinomenoni, sofis in amartion, drink from it ye all. This is my blood of the New Testament, which for you and for many is shed, unto remission of sins. Therefore, remembering this command of our Savior and all that he endured for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, the second in glory is coming again. The Son, si prospero me, Que la panda que dia panda. And we offer to thee this rational and bloodless worship. And we beseech thee and pray and supplicate thee, send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. Make this bread the precious body of thy Christ, and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ, changing them by the descent of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. so that they may be to those who receive them for the purification of the soul, for the remission of sins, for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, and for the boldness to approach thee neither unto judgment nor unto condemnation. Again, we offer unto thee this reasonable worship for those who have fallen asleep in the faith, the forefathers, fathers, pi patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Bro, 
ότι εισμίστη τη Κύριε του Αρχιεπισκόπου και Πατρός Σιμών Ιακώβου, ο ανχάρισε της Αγίας Οκλησίας εν ειρήνη στον ένιμον Ιάραμ κυβερεύοντα και ορθού το μόνο των λόγων της εις αληθείας και ανέκαστος κατά διάνοια ρέχει και πάντων και πασών. Grant us that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and praise Thy honorable and majestic name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. In the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, shall be with you all. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For these precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our merciful God who hath received the one holy and celestial and invisible altar unto a scent of spiritual fragrance, may send down upon us divine grace the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Τα τη πίστη ω και την κοινωνία του Αγίου Πνεύματο σε τη σάμενη αυτού και αλληλού και πάσαν την ζωή νημών. Κρίστο το Θεό παραθωμεθά. Και καταξίωσον είμαστε σποτε με την Παρισία σε κατακρίτω στο Αλμάνι Πηγαλίστε. Σε τον επράνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγει Πάτερ ημών που εν της ουρανής αιαστεί το το όνομά σου έλθε το η βασιλεία σου γεννηθεί το το θέλημά σου ως εν ουρανό και επί της ζής τον άρτον ημών των υπήρσιων δώσ' ημιν σήμερον και άφησ' ημιν τα φιλήματα ημών ως και εμείς αφήεμεν σε φιλέτης ημών, και εμείς εν έγκυς ημάς πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσσε ημάς από το πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Peace be with you. to the Lord. O Riti kek termes ke filantropia tu monia nu suio me thu evlenia to si sin da panagia o ke agatho ke zopio su pnev matinin ke ai ke istu se o nas to ne o no. Με 
Μιλήσε τη ειδημιλήσε το όμως του ειμιλιζόμενος ο μύρουμενος ο πάντοτε στιόμενος και με δέπετο ρεδόμενος του εστισόντος αιάζουν πλήρων που τηρεί πίστη ως πνεύματος Αγίου. Ζέσαι να είσαι κύριε πάντα την νύχια ή και στου αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Ζέσαι πίστη πλήρη πνεύματο Αγίου. Αλλά όσο ληστή ομολογό, ημί στη δίμου κύρια εν τη βασιλεία σου. Ο Θεό ελάστη με τη μαρτών εκκλεισόμεν. Ο Θεό ελάστη με τη μαρτών εκκλεισόμεν. Ο Θεό ελάστη με τη μαρτών εκκλεισόμεν. Αδελφοί, μόνο σου ξέρετε με τον Μαρτωρό, ειδού προσέχουμε Χριστό του Μαρτωρό, μεταδίδονται με τον Μαθαίο των Αξίων Μενάκων, των Τίμιων και Παράγειων, σώμα ει άφηση μαρτιών και ζωή αιώνιων. Αμήν. Τι μεταδίδωτε με τη Μαθαίο των Αξίων, Γερμανάκου του Τιμ και Πράιον. Έμα ει άφηση μαρτιών και ζουίν Ιωνίων. Αμήν. Ει το όνομα του Πατρό. Αμήν και του Ιού. Αμήν και του Αγίου Πνεύματο. Αμήν. Του το ύψο τη δεύτερη μου περίμου καθαρίνη. Με το φόβο τη πίστη ω και αγάπη προσέρχεται. Με το λαμβάνει η δουλειά του Θεού. Ελευθερία εις άφησε μαρτιών και ζουήν Ιωνιον Αμήν. Servant of God. It's communion for the remission of our sins, our life everlasting. Servant of God. I lost that sea. It's communion. 
for the remission of our sins and for life everlasting. In the name of the Lord, the Lord, the Servant of God, commune for the remission of our sins and for life everlasting. The Servant of God, commune for the remission of our sins and for life everlasting. Servant of God, Servant of God, Petros, for the mission of his sins and for life everlasting. Servant of God, the mission of our sins and for life everlasting. Servant of God, the mission of our sins and for life everlasting. Servant of God. Servant of God, yeah. closer. And you the year. It's communion for the mission of the sins of life of the last one. Servant of God, communion for the mission of the sins of life. Are you taking? Servant of God, star bros. It's communion for the mission of the sins of life of the last one. No, you go first. Come down with me. The servant of God. Let's commune for the mission of his sins and for life everlasting. Servant of God, Raphael. Let's come in for the mission of the sins of the life of the last day. So, so not the host of nouns who gave logis on the inclined of me and so. Quando tu nem que aí, que isto se unas, tu ne uno. Let us rise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, given in awesome mysteries of Christ, worthily let us give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Have we asked the Lord that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. O 
Οδυσσίωσμο Σιμών και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπουμεν το πατρί και το ιό και το αίο πνεύμα την ίν και αι και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Την ειρήνη προέλθουμε του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Ο ευλογών τους ευλογούνται σε Κύριε και αγιάζουν τους επισήπη πηδότας όσων το λαόν σου και ευλογήσουν την κληρονομία σου. Το πλήρωμα της Εκκλησίας σου φύλαξον, αγίασουν τους καπώνες του πρέπειαν του οίκου σου. Συ αυτούς αντιδόξασον την τσιράμι και μη εγκαταλειπισημά σου ελπίζον σε πισέ. Η ειρήνη του κόσμου σου δόρισε της Εκκλησίας σου τη ηρεύση της άρχους ενημών, το στρατό και παντή το λαό σου, ότι πάσα δώσεις αγαθή και πάλι δόρμα τέλειον, αν οθενεστε κατεβαίνουν εξού του προ των φώτων. Και εσύ την δόξαν και ευχαριστίαν και προσκύνησε να πέμπουμε το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίου πνεύμα την ίν και αι και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Ευλογητώσι Κύριε δίδαξον με τα δικαίωματά Σου των Αγίων ο χωρός έβρε πηγήν της ζωής και έθυραν παραδείσου ευρωκαγώ την οδοντία της μετανοίας το πολλός προβατών εγώ ημί ανακαλέσε με σου τυρ και σώσον με Ευλογητώσι Κύριε δίδαξον με τα δικαίωματά Σου Ανάπαυσον ο Θεός τους δούλους σου και κατάταξον αυτούς εν παραδείσον όπου χωρί των Αγίων Κύριε και οι δίκαιοι εκλάξου σύνος φωστήρες και κοιμημένους δούλους σου ανάπαυσον παρόλων αυτών πάντα τα εγκλήματα. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit the tribulions of the God at singleness, let us praise reverently chanting. Holy are you, the beginningless Father, co-beginningless Son, and Holy Spirit. Shine upon us who in faith worship you and deliver us all from the eternal fire. <laughs> Alleluia, 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 Doxa si o Theo. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to you, O God.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are God who descended into Hades. And in the suffering of all who are in prison, O Savior, also rest the souls of these your servants. <laughs> Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the souls of the servants of God, Sophia, Dimitra, Eleftherios, Andonios, Dimitrius, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their heirs, both voluntary and involuntary. That the Lord God will place their souls with a righteous rest and will grant to them the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sins. Let us ask of Christ, our mortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who has trampled down death, crushed the power of the devil, and granted life to your world. Do you yourself, O Lord, give rest to the souls of these your servants? Sophia, Dimitra, Eleftherios, Andonios, Demetrius, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, a place of green pasture, a place of repose, where there is no grief, sorrow, or mourning. Forgive every sin which they have committed in word or deed or thought, for you are a good God who loves mankind. For there is no one who lives and does not sin, only you are without sin, your righteousness and everlasting righteousness in your word is truth. What you see on us, that sees his week, and Macariana passes, Ton kiki men on the land to theo, Sophias, Dimitras, Eleftherio, Andonia, Dimitriou, Christeu, Theo, Simon, Ge, Sitin, Dox, Sarna, Pembomen, Sito, Anax, Patrick, Ito, Panaikio, Ke, Ke, Dox, Sopia, Suprema, Dirin, Ke, Ai, Ke, Isto, Seo, Nasto, Ne, Uno, Eunia simnimi aksu makaristik amnistia del fiemon. Eunia simnimi aksu makaristik amnistia del fiemon. Everlasting be your memory, who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. Eunia imnimi. Eunia imnimi. Eunia afto.
Ελέησον ημάς ο Θεός κατά το μεγαλείο σου, δεο με θάσο επάκουσον και ελέησον. Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον. Again we pray for all the devout and orthodox Christians. Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον. Έτσι δε αμαθά υπέρ του Αρχιεπισκόπου και Πατρός Ιμών Ιακώβου και πάση εν Χριστό ημών αδελφωτήτως. Ελέησον Κύριε, ελέησον Κύριε, ελέησον. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation. Safekeeping, protection, pardon, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all the devout and orthodox Christians who dwell and sojourn in this city, the parishioners, the parish council, the contributors and benefactors of this holy church, and those who celebrate this holy festival, and for the welfare and the members of the ladies Philotopos Society and their families, and health and blessings to us all. Further, we pray that this holy church in this city and every city and land will be kept safe against violence, pestilence, famine, earthquake, and flood, and the fire against the sword, the invasion of enemies, and civil strife and sudden death, that our good and loving God will be merciful and gracious and open to be entreated, to turn back all violence and evil aroused against us, deliver us from all his impending righteous chastisement, and be merciful to us. Again, we pray that the Lord God will hear the voice of the prayer of us sinners and will have mercy on us. Epakuson imon o Theos sotin imon ilpis pandon ton peratun disis ke don enthalasi makran ke ilios ilios inu imin daspoda. Επί της αμαρτίας ημών και ελέησον ημάς, ελέημον γάρ και φιλάνθρωπος Θεός υπάρχης και εσύ την δόξα να πέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίου Πνεύμα την ίν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Peace be with you. Bow our heads to the Lord. Most merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through the intercessions of His most pure Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable, bodiless powers of heaven the prayers of the venerable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, praiseworthy, and paramount among the apostles Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles and our God-bearing fathers, of our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our fathers among the saints, Athanasius and Cyril and John the Almsgiver, Patriarchs of Alexandria, 
of St. Nicholas, Bishop of Myra of Lycia, St. Spiridon of Trimetheus, and Nectari and Nectarios of Pendepolios, the wonder workers of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Exhaler of Myrrh, Theodore of Tyre and Theodore the General and Minas the Wonder Worker, and the priest martyrs Caralabos and Eleftherios, and the holy, glorious, great women martyrs Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotigny, Marina, Pariskivin, Irene, of the venerable and godly ascetic fathers, and of the holy and righteous ancestors of our Lord Joachim and Anna, and of the saints Cosmas and Damianos, the patron saints of Our Lady's Philotico Society, make our prayers acceptable, grant us forgiveness of our sins. If sprovet on peace on tin de sinimon, veri saimin tin afes in don paraptomato nimon, Sonimas and discapitum tirigon so Apodiuk son efimon pondak thron ke polemion Irinef sonimon tin zoin kiriele sonimas ke don cosmon suke soson das psigasimon osagathos ke philanthropos ke leimon theos Amen to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, you blessed the five loaves in the wilderness and from them fed the 5,000 people. Will you likewise now bless these loaves, the wheat, the wine, and the oil, and multiply them in this city and parish and in all your world, who bless your faithful servants and will partake from them. For you bless and sanctify all things, Christ our God. And to you we offer up glory, and to your Father who is from everlasting, and your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now endeavor and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Ιδέξι τούντες τον Κύριον, 
Τες πρεσβείες της Παναχράντου και Παναμόμα Αγίας του Αυτού Μητρός, δυνάμει του Τιμίου και Εζώπιου Σταυρού, προστασίας του Τιμίου Παναγίων Δυνάμινων Σωμάτων, η ηγεσίας του Τιμίου Εντόξου του Προφήτου Προδρόμου και Βαπτιστού Ιωάννου, των Αγίων Εντόξων και Παναφήμων Αποστόλων του Εναγής Πατέρων Ιμών Μεγάλων Ιχώνη Μιχαλού Δασκάλων, του Εναγής Πατρός Ιμών Ιωάννου Αρχιεπισκόπου Κοτσινεοπόλεως του Χρυσοστόμου των Αγίων Ενδόξων και Καλλινίκων Μαρτύρων των Οσίγων Δεοφόρων Πατέρων Ιμών, των Αγίων και Δικαίων Θεοποτών Ιωκήμ και Άνιης, των Αγίων Ακέψιμα Ιωσήφ και Αληθέλα, των Μαρτύρων Ιεουργίου Μεγαλομάρτυρος του Τροπεοφόρου, Ιεουργίου Ιερομάρτυρος του Νεοπολίτου και πάντων των Αγίων Ελέης και σώσα εμάς ως Αγαδός και Φιλάνθρωπος και Ελέημον Θεός. Τι ευχούν των Αγίων Πατέρων Ιμών, Κύριε Σου Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσον ημός. Η Αγία Τριάστη φυλάξε πάντως ημάς. Καλημέρα σας.
Good morning. This morning, as, it, it's, as it's written in your bulletin, the Artoclasia service is for Our Lady's Philoptical Society. The first Sunday of each November is dedicated to the Ladies Philoptical Society, to their welfare, to their health, and continued service to the church in general. And it is also celebrating the feast of Saints Cosmas and Damionos, which was and took place a couple of weeks ago, uh, excuse me, a couple of days ago. And um, for those who were here, of course, uh, was the center and the theme of my sermon last Sunday. The Ladies Philoptical Society collects a tray on this Sunday of which the proceeds from all of the churches throughout our Holy Archdiocese in America goes to our Ecumenical Patriarchate in Constantinople. So at the conclusion of our, uh, of our sermon this morning and prior to the distribution of the Andidro and the Arto, um, the ladies will come forward asking for a, um, a donation on your part as they pass the tray for our patriarchate um, in Constantinople. As we've entered the month of November, and of course with our time change, um, we enter a number of services as we fast approach the 40-day pre-Christmas period. Yes, we are fast approaching that season. And that begins on November 15th. However, this week we have two celebrations and holidays. One is the Synaxis of the Archangels, Gabriel and Michael. And that is on Friday. And on Saturday, November 9th, is the Feast of St. Nectarios. There will be services on Friday and Saturday here in our church. And, of course, the Vesper services will be celebrated on Thursday evening at St. Caralabos and on Friday evening at St. Nectarios in Palatine. Also tomorrow evening is our adult Bible study which continues on the second book of Corinthians, St. Paul's epistle to the Corinthians. And this morning during the coffee fellowship hour we have our fall general assembly meeting for those who are stewards of our parish of Panagias. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So many times our gospel readings are told to us in story book form, in parables. And today's lesson is just another example of that. As we heard in the Gospel reading this morning, Jesus again told a parable. He spoke about a certain rich man who had the very best of everything. In fact, he was so rich that our Gospel says that he did not need to work and he had the finest clothing that money could buy. He wore the finest robes, truly fit for a king. He had so much in material possessions and food that he was able to have a feast every day. And to put it plainly, he lived a life of luxury and was the envy of all of his neighbors. And in this parable, in this story, Jesus then mentions that lying outside the gate of the rich man's estate was a homeless man named Lazarus. By contrast, our Bible reading says, Lazarus had nothing. He was desperately poor and hungry and sick. Our Gospel tells us that he drew his only comfort from the dogs who would come and lick his running sores that covered his body. Lazarus spent his days lying on the ground waiting for the servants to throw some of the leftover food out 
to him. Now in the days before forks and spoons, people generally ate with their fingers. And they would wash their fingers in small bowls placed on the table. And wealthy people would dry their hands on, not on napkins, not on towels, but rather on loaves of bread, which then would be thrown out. And it was this discarded bread that Lazarus ate from. And he lived day to day, never knowing how much food he would get or if he would get any. And the little bit of food he did receive, he shared, as our gospel says, with the dogs. It had to be very obvious to the rich man that Lazarus was lying in front of his house. For how could he leave each day without seeing someone lying at your front gate? But he never paid much attention to him. And I think we know how it is, don't we? Sometimes we might be guilty of blocking unpleasant sights from our mind because we're confronted with such things each and every day. And every day we undoubtedly see poor people living in the streets or under the bridges, and they might as well be invisible because we have programmed ourselves to the point that we don't see them. And we act as though we don't hear their cries for food as we pass them on the streets. We certainly form opinions. And poor people are often forgotten people. And the gospel makes the special point to say that the rich man never really even noticed Lazarus. He was just someone who was there, as if he was part of the scenery, another bush, another tree alongside of his gate. But what goes around comes around. We are told in the story that both men eventually die and something totally unexpected happens. A reversal of fortune takes place. As Jesus said in this parable, the poor man died and was carried away by the angels to be with Abraham. However, the rich man was not so fortunate. He was headed for probably what we can kindly call a warmer climate. The rich man who on earth had the best in life was now in hell while Lazarus, the poor man, who had nothing for all of his life on earth, was now in heaven and seated at Abraham's side. According to Jesus, God often turns the tables. Jesus taught many times about God's reversals. We heard Jesus say at one time, but many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. And on another occasion, he told his disciples this. He said, whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave. However, Sometimes this goes against our nature because we admire success. We admire and are fascinated by wealthy people. We tend to equate wealth with success and dream of even joining their company. No doubt some of the Pharisees were dismayed with Jesus' parable because from their viewpoint, the fact that the rich man was wealthy certainly meant that God was showing favor to this rich man. That's what the Jews believed. The Pharisees believed that righteous people were rewarded by God with wealth, and in their way of thinking, the rich man has to be the hero, not poor Lazarus. And that might even sound like some of our affluent people today. 
even some people that we probably know very well. But the fact is, all through this parable, Jesus reverses common perceptions. For example, notice that the rich man in this story was not even given a name by Jesus. He was just referred to as a rich man. Jesus doesn't even bother to call him by his name. Even in our world, rich people are known by a name and a face. We see them on television programs showing off their luxury in homes. We see their faces on magazine covers in the supermarket. We know who they are. But on earth, we tend to equate the poor as nameless. But Jesus did the opposite in his gospel. We see in this parable the poor man whose name we are told is Lazarus ends up being alongside of Abraham while the rich man ends up in hell. So here we see it. God gives us the lesson. He turns the tables and he reverses what we mistakenly think is important. I think we need to finally understand that God's ways are not always our ways, are they? Both men die, and it is only then that we see in this story that the rich man finally understands what life was supposed to be all about. And that the rich man discovers what life was like for Lazarus. And it's no different for us either. And we could look further on in this gospel reading this morning and see when in torment the rich man looks up and sees Abraham in Abraham looks up and sees Abraham and Lazarus in his bosom. But what does the rich man do even while he's burning in hell? The rich man calls out and he says, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And he proceeds to still look at Lazarus as a servant. He says, send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in agony in these flames. Do you see the irony here? Instead of Lazarus begging for food from the rich man, now we see the rich man begging for a few drops of cool water from our Lord, but still looking at Lazarus as less than him. What goes around comes around. This parable teaches us that what's important in life is not how much we have, but the way we treat other people and the way we use our blessings that God has given to us. In actuality, the rich man, our Lord doesn't say that the rich man was a bad person. He kept the letter of the law. His only sin, however, was that he failed to notice Lazarus lying in his doorway. The sin he committed and was now suffering in hell for was what? One of apathy, one of indifference, adiaphoria. Part of the lesson we can take with us today as we leave is this. The way we treat other people says something about our understanding of what it means to be a Christian. Do we treat the people we come in contact with in ways that Jesus would want us to? Or like the rich man, do we pretend that they're not even there? So what happened in this story? Abraham answered the rich man's request by saying, My son, remember that during your lifetime you received the good things and Lazarus in like manner the evil things. But now he is comforted here and you suffer in anguish. We can ask ourselves a question. 
what can we take with us when we leave this world? Nothing? Well, that's not altogether true. There is one thing that survives the grave. And no, it's not money, it's not cars, it's not clothes, it's not homes. The correct answer is relationships. Relationships with others and relationships with Jesus Christ. That's it. That is the only thing that we can take with us. Was the rich man really rich? Through some eyes, certainly he was. And in some ways, yes, he was. But the sad truth is, he did not have anything that mattered. Anything that was eternal. Because his last breath meant he left everything on earth. Finally, the only thing we can take to the grave and beyond, as I said, is our relationships with others and certainly with Jesus Christ. So instead of trying to accumulate as many possessions as we can, and certainly we all know possessions are important to some degree, and instead of trying to associate ourselves with only people who may have as much as we do, our goal rather should be to strengthen our relationships. Those relationships with our family, our friends, our co-workers, even the homeless outside of our gates. And most of all, with Jesus Christ. Ultimately, of course, they are all part of the same package. Because after all, wasn't it Jesus who said, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you didn't do it to me either. The rich man was certainly in the position. The rich man was in a position that he could help Lazarus. But what did he do? He chose to ignore him. And that choice was a disastrous one, and the rich man discovered that indeed what goes around comes around. So like the wealthy man in our parable, we too must take stock and ask ourselves, if we are too busy, if we are too preoccupied to notice the poor and the homeless persons living right outside of our doors. Unlike the wealthy man, hopefully we will realize perhaps our own errors and the sin of apathy and indifference and choose to change our ways and attitudes before it's too late. My dear brothers and sisters, as children of God, we are all potential candidates for membership into heaven. And I hope you and I are perceptive enough to realize what is expected and demanded of each of us. Because believe it or not, regardless of how much money we have, there is much of the rich man in each of us. As Jesus so beautifully said in his own words, just as you did it to the one of the least of these, my brethren, so also you did it to me. Amen. Once again, I, I remind you the ladies are in the back and they will be coming forward to pass a special tray asking for your help for the Ladies Philoptical Society to send on to our Patriarchate in Constantinople and so that our mother church may continue her work in Constantinople and throughout all of our churches in the world.